Hello, my name is Jeremy Dooley, and I am a typeface designer here at Insignia Design. I'm going to talk a little bit about the use of layered fonts and how you can more effectively use these. I've had a couple questions, um, and I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about them. So here's an example of a layered typeface. And um, so first I want to talk about how to quickly uh, make sure that things are duplicated. And so what I'm going to do is... Um, the best way to duplicate layers is in Photoshop is just to to drag them like so. So we've just made a new layer here in the open type layer, and then we're just going to choose another font. So what will look good with this? Um, let's try uh, maybe maybe some sort of a uh, a diagonal, and and so that we have an unusual sort of an effect. And by changing the layers uh, and their order here, uh, we can get some different effects. So um, by moving the center line layer up, we can now get a, a different effect. So that is the the simplest way to uh, duplicate layers and 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 work with them in, in Photoshop. Uh, but in Illustrator, uh, there's a sort of a different principle, and that principle is paste in place. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and and take uh, this. Um, right here and copy and paste and as you can see it's a little bit offset it's a it's a mess so what we want to do is we want to use the command paste in place so edit paste in place boom it, it puts it right over the top now every once in a while you're gonna come across a, a fully featured uh, type family uh, such as Aviano Sans layers um, that is gonna have some different uh, stylistic options so uh, in your open type palette, what you want to do is you can choose different options here. So um, this one, for example, uh, when it's not in a group, you can choose uh, a swash uh, and also a, a stylistic and titling options as well in this family. Um, and so uh, this is the normal setting, but we're going to go ahead and just change this to a swash, which is more of an Art Deco sort of a look. And since they're layered, they're just going to work well with each other. So you can see that we have this this all new effect um, that has more of an Art Deco sort of a look. Um, you have to just remember to activate all layers per stack. So when you're using uh, layered type styles, generally this, for example, is not a paragraph box; it's a text box, um, and that's generally how you're going to do your work. Um, you can use paragraph, but I would I would recommended against it in most instances um, because you know, layered type as you can see can be difficult to read in volume uh, because it is so highly decorative anyway that's all for now just a couple quick little tips on how to work um, just keep groups together or um, layer groups in Photoshop and you should be able to achieve anything that you desire uh, keep in mind that you can actually create some really unconventional effects uh, as well. So I hope that you'll take a look at uh, some of my type families out there. Um, this is, is, is uh, Aviano, is uh, Lehav Layers, and uh, I answer any questions that you may have, either about my own type families or about uh, layered type styles, and I uh, welcome your questions or comments uh, below. Thank you very much for your time.